Hello and welcome to SED 445, your first lecture video of the semester. I'm going to quickly just bring you through the syllabus real quick so that we can just get rolling on the semester. So first, let's talk about your required text. Uh, this is available in the e-text version or loose leaf version. Um, whatever your preference is, go for it. We do have a field experience that everybody is required to do. Now, I understand that some of you are already working in the field, um, but we are required to complete a 24-hour field experience in a K-12 educational setting. So if you already work in a public school setting, um, you're all set as far as you don't have to, you know, do any outside field experience. But if you are not already working in a K-12 educational setting, um, you will need to be coordinated um, with the field placement. So we will have our first assignment will be to complete a field placement application during the first week of class. So this is a graded assignment and everybody is going to complete it because there is a section that says um, something to the effect of, yep, my mom said I already work in a school. So this is because the um, the internship coordinator needs to have everybody on the roster um, accounted for before he can start looking for internships or field experiences rather. I'm take a little walk down here. All right, so there's your internship application. Um, also, what we're going to be working towards in this class is an individual behavior change project. I refer to it as the IBCP, and it's fun to say five times fast if you can. Um, so what this is, is you're going to select a real life human person other than yourself. I have to be very specific because I get a lot of questions of like, can I use my cat? No, unfortunately you can't. Who is exhibiting a chronic maladaptive behavior. So we're not going to be um, writing any intervention plans for helping someone to quit smoking or anything uh, beyond the scope of this class, like drug abuse or anything. You're going to be thinking of a chronic maladaptive behavior that we can uh, work on for change. So throughout this long-term project, we're going to assess the function, where we're going to figure out the purpose behind the behavior, and then we're going to create a plan for the intervention. So you see down here, there's the IBCP worksheets. So every week or every so often, we're going to work on little chunks that will um, bring us to put it all together at the end of the semester for your final project. So don't feel overwhelmed that it is worth so much of your grade because you're gonna be working on it throughout the semester. We're also gonna be having some um, intensive intervention conversations um, with your K-12 teacher, mentor, or administrators um, at the public school um, level. This could be um, where you are doing your field experience or where you work, or it could be outside of where you work. Um, so I have also posted some questions for that um, when the week comes. Um, you'll be able to access that. We also have the cooperating teacher evaluation that will be due at the end. And let's talk about the discussion boards. So with our discussion boards, um, you are required to post an original response each week and then a minimum of two substantive responses. So that means that we're not gonna be posting any one-liners because um, that would be too easy, right? So substantive means you know, you're gonna put a lot of thought and, and have a thoughtful response to a classmate based on what they had said in their original post. Now the rule of thumb for um, these discussion boards is that I require you to have your first post aside from week one because we're starting on a weird day. Um, we're going to have your first post due on Wednesday by midnight. I write everything 11.59 p.m., but, you know, it's by midnight. Um, and then two um, substantive posts to your peers by midnight on Saturday, okay? So I ask that you get your first post in on Wednesday so that we have the rest of the week to thoughtfully respond um, to your peers by Saturday, the due date. So here's a rubric for um, discussion boards so you can kind of self-assess as you're going. There's also a, um, a section in the discussion board questions for Liz, and this is an optional forum. 
where you're encouraged to ask questions about uh, the content. And this is where you're asking questions that everybody can benefit from. So the rule of thumb is if you have a personal question or a question about your grade, or if something's going on with your field experience that you think is a little off, email me personally. Um, but you know, questions for Liz section is where everybody can ask questions about the content or an assignment um, that everybody can benefit from. There is a uh, frequently asked uh, frequently asked questions section in the resources section, which I will find for you. Where are you? There it is. The resources uh, section. I almost said resource room. Holy cow. Um, there is a section for frequently asked questions um, as well as like some Blackboard resources. I encourage you to take a look at this before um, putting up a post on the questions for Liz or emailing me just because some of your answers might be found there. So let's look at the Blackboard roadmap. Obviously you've been able to navigate to this um, YouTube video, so we won't spend too much time, but um, if there is something that everybody needs to know, I'll make an announcement. The email function, you can get a hold of me or I believe um, some of your peers if you need to through that function. Grade books, so you can check your grades. Resources section, check that out. It's worth, it's a worth um, taking a look at. The syllabus and assignments um, section is where obviously the syllabus is um, posted, but also the bigger assignments for this class, I'm posting those there, which is for easy access if you're like me and you like to look at things and print things out ahead of time. Um, the weekly folders. Every week I'm posting a folder of new content, so please look for um, each corresponding week and all your new content will um, be infiltrated there. And discussion boards, so if you click on the tab and go to um, the correct um, thread for each week, you can make your own um, thread and do your original uh, responses that way. So here we have the lovely course schedule. It's broken down by all our 14 weeks um, by topic and your weekly assignment, so you can kind of keep track. But every week when I post the new weekly folder, I'm also going to um, be spelling out the deliverable content um, of what's due and how to submit it, um, whether it be a discussion board or you know um, working on one of those um, IBCB worksheets. What else? Oh yeah, okay. I'm not going to scroll all the way down because I don't want my phone number on YouTube. <laughs> um, but I do want to... Here we are. So I do just want to highlight that when you do upload things onto Blackboard, um, please make sure that is a Word doc or a PDF. PDF is preferred for anything that you send to me, um, especially when you upload it onto um, Blackboard for grading purposes. So if you're like me and you're a Mac user, if you use pages for things, when you send it to me, I can't open it up. So make sure that you're uploading everything to Blackboard um, in the correct folder just for grading purposes um, and also that way I can find your um, assignment easier. Well, thank you for joining me um, for our little syllabus dive, and I look forward to working with you and, and um, watching you guys on, on the um, discussion boards, and obviously I'm starting to fade out here, so I really appreciate your time in watching this short video, and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Thank you.